guys, welcome back to the Updike Family Homestead. Today, ah, I'm so excited. Today, I am going to be um, using my new pasta attachment for my stand mixer. This is something I've wanted to do forever, um, and um, my hubby blessed me with this, and I'm really, really excited. It's not KitchenAid brand, um, but it was probably about a little less than half the price of the KitchenAid stand mixer one. So this is the entree. I'm hoping I'm saying that right. Um, but I did get this off of Amazon and, or he got it off of Amazon, told me to order it. It's a three in one pasta roller and cutter attachment. And when you open the box, Everything was nice and neatly packaged. I did, of course, wash everything, um, so I've, I've already opened it, sorry. But it does come with an instruction manual. It's very easy to read, very easy to follow. And um, it comes with the pasta attachment, which ah, I can't wait. I'm so excited, can you tell? <laughs> and then it also came packaged I don't know what I did with the package. But anyway, this is the cleaning brush. Um, it has a little groove here uh, to get into the nooks and crannies. It has bristles on the tip right here. I hope that you can see that. And then it's almost like a toothbrush right here. So this just helps you really get into all of the little pieces that need to be cleaned. Um, but anyway, let's get started. Hey y'all, we are the Updike family located in the mountains of Tennessee. We're excited to share our homesteading journey with all of you. From the farm to the table, we'll share the ins and outs, the ups and downs, from recipes and how-tos to our adventures of running a homestead. So come on in and join us. From our home to yours, welcome to the Updike Family Homestead. All right. So I'm going to use the recipe that came in with the book. Um, well, I say book, it's more like a, a really long, I say long, you guys can see, it's not that long um, pamphlet. Like I said, it's super easy to follow. So the first thing that we need to do is actually mix up our dough. We need to go ahead and do that first. So I'm gonna set this to the side. I am gonna use the stand mixer to make the dough recipe which is found on page, there it is, page nine. And we're gonna use just a basic egg pasta. Um, and I'm going to be making lasagna pasta because our oldest and our grandbabies are coming to visit tomorrow and I'm just, oh, I cannot wait to see them. Uh, but they're coming to visit and I'm going to be making homemade lasagna. So it's the day before. Um, and all I'm going to do is after I make the pasta, I'm just going to kind of put it in the refrigerator and I don't know, I might actually assemble the, the lasagna, um, tonight. We'll just, we'll kind of see how I feel after making this. All right. So it says we're going to need four eggs, one tablespoon of water, three and a half cups of sifted all purpose flour and a half a teaspoon of salt. That's all the ingredients. Of course, I'm gonna be using the unbleached um, organic flour. And I've got my measuring cups right here. So three and a half cups. And it just says to put everything into the stand mixer. So I'm gonna go by that recipe. That's one and then two and three. I'm not gonna sift it because it's pretty fine like it is. And with it being unbleached and organic, I feel like it's gonna be okay. All right, so that is all sifted. Are y'all proud I'm wearing my apron? One of my aprons. Whenever I do anything with flour, I always come out with flour covered in head to toe. I do need to add a half a cup more of flour though. All right, so there's my flour. Um, I'm gonna be using my Redmond's Real Mineral Salt. I need a half a teaspoon of that. So there's that, add that right on into that mixing bowl. And then I went ahead and poured out um, or measured out my one tablespoon of water. So we're gonna add that in. 
And now for my eggs. Now you guys know that we have, whoops, sorry about that. Uh, you guys know that we have our farm fresh eggs. So that's what I'm going to be using. I've got my compost bucket here. Have you ever seen one of these? I'm just gonna show you this really fast. So this is a compost bin and these are compost waste bags. And I, originally I had put one of these um, in my cart um, from our Frontier Co-op. And, um, and then my husband and I went to Goodwill or one of the thrift stores, I don't remember which one, some thrift store, and they had it there for $2.99. It was brand new, $2.99. I don't think anybody realized what it was, but I knew. <laughs> and so I ended up saving more than $20 by finding it at Goodwill. You just never know what you're gonna find. So that's my little side train there for a little bit. So I've got my eggs here, that's one. Two. So we primarily, as far as our chickens go, we have Easter Eggers and then we have um, Bard Rocks and Rhode Island Reds and Red Stars. Um, but the Easter Eggers are just so cool because you gotta look at this egg. This is, look, it's a blue egg. And this is probably one from my, my Bard Rocks because they lay really nice big um, brown eggs. One more, which is four. All right, so that's four eggs. So that's all of the ingredients that it asks for or that it calls for. And um, then it says, attach the bowl to the flat beater. So that's this, this is the flat beater. And turn speed to, to two, okay. So let me attach. This is the first time I'm making this. So this is kind of cool. I've never done like an actual review on a product that I've bought before. So this is nice. All right, so there's two, which is a little too high. Let's get that mixed in first. I made a mess. All right, there we go. So I would recommend starting off on one first uh, because as you can see, the flour just kind of poof, went everywhere. And now I have it set to two. Then it says, oh, 30 seconds. Okay, that's, that's been 30 seconds. See, gotta read all the instructions. All right. Then it says to switch it over to the um, dough hook. This is pretty familiar. This is something that I would do anyway, like when I'm making bread. I start off with that flat paddle and then I move to the dough hook. And it says to let that knead for two minutes. All right, so it's been two minutes. I'm a little nervous because it it's kind of crumbly. Oh, okay, no, it's like, it's squishy. Okay, okay, we can work with this, we can work with this. All right, so let's move you, Mr. Instruction Manual, over there for a minute. Because now it says, um, remove the dough from the bowl and divide into several pieces before processing with the pasta roller and cutter attachment. So I've got a piece of wax paper here. I'm just gonna lay this out on my island. Y'all, this island is just the coolest thing. Um, if you haven't watched our like repurpose video, go back and watch that. I'll post a link to it like in here somewhere. Um, Haley, you know, still does that kind of sort of for me. <laughs> um, but we repurposed this and made um, made an island out of a, a, a cabinet. All right, so yeah, it's a little crumbly. Hmm. We're gonna have to try to make it work. So I'm just gonna. I don't know, let's see. Cut it into, well, pull it apart into sections because that's what it says. Now, I did go back and I looked again at the instructions and the instructions said for lasagna, I need to use um, the roller number four or five. So I figured, okay, let's use number four. Um, okay, so yeah, it does actually, it's, it does stick together. It's kind of like, um, 
it has the texture I would say of like play-doh you know or like a cookie dough like a sugar cookie dough um, which is next on my list because the grandbabies are coming tomorrow I think I already told you that but I'm gonna tell you again and Ayla has already said Nana when I come over I want to make cookies and so we have to make cookies all right so I have it like almost in four equal size like balls of dough here all right now let's attach the actual cutter so if you have a KitchenAid sand mixer you know that your attachments go on the front here I love that my hands um, this is actually really good for my hands my hands are kind of weak and I'm able to turn that so I like that it does have the knob right here, so we need to make sure that that goes in, and then let's lock it down. Oh, there we go. Okay. Now, it does have a warning hand pinching on here. This on the front right here, this little knob um has numbers i can barely see them and i have good eyesight but um, i can if you look really closely uh, you have one two three four five six seven eight so there's actually like eight different settings and of course like i said the lasagna recommendation for in the manual here said to use four or five so we're going to start with number four i'm going to lock that and just <gasps> Okay, that's so cool. So when I, I just wanna see, I'm gonna turn to number one and see what happens then. All right, so yes, that, that is really cool. This first one right here, um, this is like the fettuccine one. This one is the flat roller for lasagna. And then this one is like for spaghetti noodles. <gasps> you guys, this is, this is just so cool. All right, I'm gonna back this up so that I have a lot of space and then oh yeah and it also it did come with like this longer attachment I'm I'm gonna just kind of use the one that I have and see how that goes so I have um, a cookie sheet here I am going to put down some wax paper um, in between the layers of pasta because I just I don't know I feel like that might help maybe we'll see okay how exciting all right let's see here remove the dough from the bowl and divide into several pieces follow instructions in cooking pasta maybe I should maybe make this a little bit smaller and then flatten it so I'm let's use a rolling pin Okay, see I told you guys, this is like the first time. So I've got my ball of dough here. Turn stand mixer to speed two or four. Feed flattened pieces of dough into the rollers, whichever one you're gonna use. I hope that's flat enough, I don't know. Okay, let's just give it a go. I mean like, I, that's what it looks like. Okay, that's four. Maybe let's try two. Okay. <gasps> oh! You guys! Look! It's a lasagna pasta! Okay, that's, that's really cool. Let's do that again. It was so quick. I want to do it again. Let's, let's try that one one more time. Let's make sure. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. So, flatten it out with my rolling pin. Just a little bit. The wax paper is not my friend right now. Okay. That one might be a little bit small, but let's just see. Oh, my goodness. 
Geri geldi. Okay. I want to try five just to see if it will make it a little bit flatter. Skinnier, I guess. So I'm going to turn it back on to two. Oh, wow. Yep. Look at that. Oh, that's perfect. <gasps> Look at how long that got. Oh, my goodness. You guys, this is the coolest thing ever. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Super easy instructions. Super easy to clean. I'll show you guys that, too, if you want me to, but... I, I give this literally a 10 out of 10 and the price you, you I just I just can't believe it like <laughs> I'm so excited I am making pasta can you guys believe this how awesome <sighs> okay let's do it again Now, it does recommend boiling the fresh pasta, but because this is going to go in the oven for lasagna, I'm going to skip that because I don't feel like that would be necessary um, to have to do that. So, I'm rolling out that ball of dough. No more. That was super easy to make. I mean, literally, it just took me a few minutes to mix up the pasta. I won't be buying, as long as this recipe is good, I don't think that I will be buying pasta anymore. You know what? While you guys are on here, because I just have a feeling that I can make this work. Like, I can squish it back together. Let's do a spaghetti. So let me read, let's see here. Spaghetti is roller number three. I'm just curious to see how that, how that does. So, oh yeah, it's spinning. All right, here we go. So that's like, you know, obviously it's not very long because I, you know, just did like a short little piece, but look, how cool. It's so fun to play with new toys, right? Okay. Let me swap that back over. I just was curious to see how that was going to look and it was, and I was able to just smush it right back together in with this other part that I had. Okay, roll it out. Note to self, don't use the wax paper anymore. You know what I should have used was my pastry mat. I use that all the time. So that one fell apart just a little bit, but I think that was user error, <laughs> which is me. Okay, I've only got two more small little dough balls left. One last ball of dough. This one must have been like on the bottom. I will say that like the dough was a little bit more crumbly than I was anticipating. And it did call for four large eggs. 
Um, one of the eggs that I used was a little bit on the small side, so I did go ahead and I decided to um, add an, a, another small egg. So it did um, get a little bit more doughy, I feel, after I added that fifth egg. But it was because I used one of the smaller ones. Feed it right in. And here it comes. Look at that. How awesome. Look at all that pasta for homemade lasagna. I'm so excited. All right. So I don't want my pasta to dry out. So I think what I'm going to do is, I'm gonna use the um, sheets here just to kind of separate the pasta. And I say dry out, I mean pasta's dry anyway, right? But since I'm cooking it tomorrow, now like I said, this one came out a little bit on the not so pretty side, but that was user error. And it's, you know, it's gonna be cooked in the lasagna tomorrow. Okay. So I've got like four there, and then one, two, three, four. So that recipe made eight lasagna pieces. And of course, you know, I'll be able to cut some of that down just a little bit as we go. But that is so cool. I cannot wait to, update you guys on how the actual lasagna turned out and what the family thought about it. But now I've got to clean up this mess and make our cookie dough for tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a blessed day. Hey guys, welcome back to the Updike Family Homestead. Okay, so I told you yesterday as I was making the lasagna, right? <laughs> Is that what Nana made? Was it good? Yeah. So we give it two thumbs up. I've got one. Can you give it a thumbs up? Yay! <laughs> so we were so excited yesterday that we made the pasta and then we had the lasagna for dinner. It cooked up perfectly. Yes? And did you eat all of yours? Almost. <laughs> Almost. Nana gave you two more. <laughs> And then what did we make for dessert? You wanna show them? Cookies. Yeah, show them how you painted your cookie. Ta-da! Very pretty. And those were delicious too, weren't they? But that's all that we have for you guys. So I will definitely be sharing the recipe and I highly recommend that pasta maker, the entree or entry, really, I don't know how to uh, pronounce it, but it's A-N-T-R-E-E. -E. I'll post the link description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Say bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Can you wave?